All right, so I'm kind of holding the camera here, so this is a little bit informal from what I usually do because we're in the process of moving some things around in the studio. We're actually moving out of the studio, so it's going to be a little discombobulated over the next little bit. But speaking of bits, what we've got here is actually a Rosewill case specifically tuned for uh, miners. So, so this is the Rosewill BM-600. So it's a 6 GPU um, mining case. So the thing here is most people um, that mine, of course, you use a rack server or something. But if you're going to do light mining like what I do, I do um, hobbyist mining. I don't do it enthusiast level, so I'm not running uh, farms. In fact, those cards right up there aren't even being used. Those are just um, those are cards that were sent in for samples, except for the 7870 and the 480. I'm not even using those. I'm actually using the uh, few NVIDIA cards that I bought Um We'll look at those in just a moment, but something real important to note about this particular case is you're not going to be able to use these kinds of riser cables. So you might as well just throw those out. I mean, I used them for open air benches, but you're going to have to use the USB ones. So there's that additional cost. I mean, I got the case for uh, $119 and like 10 minutes after I bought it, it went on sale for $99 on Newegg. We'll put a link down there in the description of that. But what we want to do today is I'm actually going to put my little mining rig in here and it's actually really well uh, packaged it comes in closed cell foam so it's actually really cool now the case itself I can almost guarantee is going to be extremely flimsy and cheap because you don't really care to have too much invested in that so a hundred bucks is a little bit more than the sixty to eighty dollars like open air frames would cost you but we'll take a look at how this works because it holds three 120 millimeter fans in the front and I've got uh, three Cooler Master Master Fan Pro 120s that we're going to pump in there and see how that goes. So I'm going to move the camera and we're actually going to take it out of the box and take a quick look at it. All right, so here it is out of the box. You can see it is all black. It's got a Rosewill logo down the side here and you can see it's heavily ventilated and there's cut these holes here are actually for uh, storage devices. There's not a lot going on on the inside here, but you can see the um, cases or the fans right there. Uh, there's the instruction manual showing uh, the fact that you can put three in the front and you actually put five 80 millimeter fans in the back or you can actually remove that we'll take a look at that actually since i got it sitting on a steam link here we'll um spin it around you can see the power switch is just a little rocker switch there that's kind of neat so internal setup is really easy so there's another place over here where you can mount a two and a half inch hard drive so this is whoa this is the uh, back panel where you can put the gpus if you're going to use the io from the motherboard so that you can increase the airflow but we're going to go ahead and take this top off and take a look on the inside. But before that, let's get that kind of balanced. Let's take a look at the accessories here. Let's see. Is it? It's a few screws and zip ties. All right, let's get it. The uh, let's get this puppy open. All right. So right in here, you can clearly see where the 120 millimeter fans go. You can see the tray that sits the graphics cards on there. You can see a little indentions here for the slot to sit down into. And you can see the spots for the GPUs to screw into. So because I really I only use four GPUs, or three. Three right now, I may add a fourth one in here. I may throw my 480 in here now that I've got a little bit of room. Because I was doing this in a case where I can mount one of the GPUs vertically. So I had these two mounted horizontally and that one on a riser cable mounted on its side. Wasn't the best idea in the world. But either way, these are this is what I do whenever I'm not working. I play with these. I have a little fun with it since I'm primarily mining Zcash and uh, vert so it's kind of fun I have a little fun with it but I'm gonna move the camera out of the way and we're gonna take this part off and then we're gonna get these three cards set up and I'm gonna go ahead and set up for a fourth card just uh, because why not
right guys, so there it is, all finished up and set up on the system. Now, something you probably notice is those are not the same Cooler Master fans. Those are actually uh, Noctua Industrial fans because the Cooler Master fans um, sucked towards like the, the bearings. Let's see if I can show it right here. Looks like I get behind it. It's hard to tell. But under full load, they push up. And they were actually hitting the frame, and it was excruciatingly loud. So there it is. Um, I will say one thing that does really suck about this case is because of that bottom plate. I don't know if you noticed in the video, but I totally forgot to plug in the motherboard. And had to finagle myself in there. Otherwise, I would have had to pull everything completely out. So there you have it, guys. That is the rose wheel. Well, let me mention one other thing. Like As cool as that is that you can put stuff in there, it doesn't really seem that... I'd rather just have it open. That's just me, and that's what I want to leave it. Now, I do have the lid I'm going to put on it. So, all right. It's been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. We'll catch you in the next video, guys.